Hello and welcome to the Fish Fest. This is batch 151 and it's all different kinds of fish. I had a ton of cans of fish so I really needed to clean out the cabinet a bit. So um, batch 151 uh, started at 7.15 and I did nine freeze nine dry um, and that's the date on the top um, I switched the way that I do that but anyway so here's what I did tray one had um, Alaskan pink salmon tray two had the same thing and then I did the weights there uh, and then tray three which this is tray three right here I had um, a can of uh, the Alaskan pink salmon and then I also had uh, four seven ounce cans. That's, that's from there to there. It doesn't look like much. Four seven ounce cans of de-skinned and de-boned salmon fillets. And then right down here was um, one can of uh, five ounces of uh, shredded pink salmon. And then on tray four, this is... Um, two six ounce cans of pink crab meat and then over here I have one 15 ounce can of mackerel and then over here was a 12 ounce can of tuna and it said right on the can nine nine ounces drained so that's what I'll use for my figures and then over here the pink uh, crab was bumblebee I believe it said that it was um, one six ounce can had 4.25 ounces drained but when I actually weighed it I made these cards this time so I could keep things straight because everything was so different um, had so many different things um, this was uh, bumblebee pink crab shredded Two six ounce cans drained should have been eight and a half ounces at 238 grams. And when I weighed it, it was actually only 164 grams. So that was, you can see on the bottom, 74 grams short of what it was supposed to be drained. It was 2.64 ounces short out of the eight and a half ounces we were supposed to have and I was pretty upset with that so I don't believe I will be using a bumblebee pink crab anymore but as you can see up there under shredded and off to the right a little bit I have uh, FD which is where I'm going to put the freeze-dried weight just and then I thought you know this is a pretty nice idea to make a card like this just to have I don't know future reference maybe so I did that also for the mackerel it was pampa brand and a 15 ounce can after it was drained it was uh 9.2 ounces but after i cleaned out uh, the bones and cleaned off the skin it was 7.7 .7 ounces so when you're buying 15 ounces and you're actually only getting less less than half of that it's um well no probably almost exactly half that. Uh, it, it's pretty um, disappointing. So I think if I came across it cleaned and uh, already like I did with these fillets, that is probably the better way to go. Because if you're um, thinking that you're, you know, figuring out 15 ounces in the can, you're actually not getting 15 ounces of fish and you don't want all that other stuff. So then I made one for the Star Kiss Tuna. This one also was short. It said that the can was 12 ounces and that it was 9 ounces drained, but yet it only weighed 6.86 ounces, and that was 1.14 ounces short. And it's only a little bit, but it's my money. You want to give me extra? I suppose that's okay. And then the last one, or second to the last, excuse me, this was the uh, boneless uh, skinless salmon fillets that I got at Sam's Club. Uh, they come in a pack of five for I think $13, but 
I had four seven ounce cans at which was uh, 17.93 ounces. Um, and then, I, I'm, like I said, I'm going to weigh it and see what the freeze dried weight was. I, I don't know why, just because I had extra time. I normally don't have time to do anything. And this time I had extra time. Um, I actually only added three hours to the run time um, of this batch. And that was only because I went out to eat with my sister and my nephew. So this was the salmon. It was uh, three different brands of salmon. It was the 14.75 ounce cans. And um, it was a uh, star kissed pre late and uh, great value brand. And it was, uh, I put the weights in there. And this is how I figured I'm going to pack these to make them more even. The, um, the, the five ounce of shredded salmon actually weighed in there, which actually gives me almost, what, five pounds exactly of salmon that I did. So when I separate the cans, separate the weights for my packing in Mylar, it'll, it'll be a lot more accurate. I don't know if a lot of people care about the accuracy of their weights, but I weigh everything on my scale right there and try to keep the... The weights uh, approximate to what they would be for a serving size. Like I will put in um, maybe four to six ounces of fish or meat or things like that. Although you got to keep in mind, they say that a serving size is actually weighed raw. Okay, so that's how I did it all. And this is the teas or the tray one, two, three, and four. And that's just how I wrote everything up. And, and then I figured out my cost because if I can, I, I try to just keep a rough idea sometimes. So I think this batch cost me $32. And here's where I let it run for 45 minutes, excuse me, 45 hours. Wouldn't that be nice? And 18 minutes. And I added three hours and 19 minutes. So I wasn't doing all that other math and calling it 41.59. I just call this 42 hours to do. Um, it was actually a little more the a little more than I probably should have put on some of these um, trays. They, the trays weren't even as usually if I'm going to do 10 pounds in the machine, I will do um, two and a half pounds per tray. But I think one of these trays was like half of what the other ones were. But um, anyway, that's it. Uh, batch 151. And boy, this room smells like fish. My husband wouldn't even walk in here. <laughs> he, he hates, he hates um, the smell of fish. But okay, that's it. Sorry the video was so long, but happy freeze drying.